Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to learn a solved example on setting out of simple circular curve by taking offsets from the long chord. So this is the statement. So in this statement, it is given to us that there are two tangents are there, A, B and B, C, which intersects at a point B at 250.5 meter chain each. What it is asked to us, calculate all the necessary data for setting out a circular curve of 200 meter radius and deflection angle of 30 degree by the method of offsets from the long chord. So let's draw the sketch first so that we can have better understanding to this problem. Let's say that we are having one line as AB line as back tangent and BC line with a forward tangent and it is given to us that the point of intersection is B so it means this point would be B and let's say that A is the start point of the curve and C is the end point of the curve. Since A and C are the start and end point of the curve, we can draw its center and the distance from center to the start or end point would be the radius. So radius is given which is 200 meter and this angle, the angle between AB and BC is the deflection angle which is also given to us and that is 30 degree. And we all know that the straight distance between the start and end point of the curve is a long part, the distance from A to C. So now we can start with the calculations. So change at point B is given. So change at point B is 250.5 meter. And if you want to calculate the change at the start point, we can calculate. But before that, we need to calculate the tangent length, which is the distance from A to B. So we know the formula for that. Uh, the formula is R10 phi phi 2. So putting the values of uh, radius and the deflection angle, we can calculate the tangent length. The radius is 200. The deflection angle is 30. And uh, when we do the calculation, the tangent length would be equal to 53.59 meter so now we can calculate the change at point a so change at point a would now be equal to change at point b now since we are moving backward we are coming back to point a so whenever we are moving backward the distance that we have moved backward would be subtracted so in this case this distance is tangent length so tangent length would be subtracted in this case so 250.5 minus 53.59 will give us change at point a and when we do the calculations it will be 196.91 meter so moving further, change at point C is not given. So we can calculate the change at point C if we know the length of the curve because point C is end point of the curve. So adding change at point A with the length of the curve, we can have the change at point C. So change at point A plus the length of the curve will give us the change at point C. So change at point A is 196.91. And we know the formula for the length of the curve, which is phi r phi over 180. So replacing r with its value 200 and deflection angle with 30. And after doing the calculations, we can have the change at point C as 301.57 meter. If you do the calculation for the length of the curve, it will be around 104.67 meters. So now we have calculated the change at point C. Moving on further, we need to calculate the length of the long chord because we have to take the offset from the long chord. So if you recall the formula for the length of uh, long chord, which is 2R sine phi by 2. So putting the value of radius and deflection angle. And after doing the calculations, the length of the long chord would be 103.527 meter. So now we have calculated the length of the long chord which is 103.527 meters. So if you recall the basics of the method in which we set out the simple circular curve by taking offsets from the long chord. First we need to be exactly at the mid of the long chord. So total length of the long chord is 103.527. So dividing it by 2 we will be exactly at the mid over here and then the length of half of the long chord would be 51.76 
meters. Now we have to take offsets from the long chord. The offset taken at exactly mid of the long chord would be the middle ordinate and we are familiar with the formula of the middle ordinate. So the formula for the middle ordinate is R1 minus cos 5 by 2. So when we put the value of radius and deflection angle, we will be having the middle ordinate as 6.8148 meters. So offset that will be taken exactly at the mid would be this one. Let's represent that with the O naught as offset 0 and its value is 6.8148 meters. Now the total distance that we have to travel on left side or on the right side would be 51.76 meter. So calculation that we done for the one side can be used for the second side. So the total distance that we have to travel by taking the offset is 51.76 meter. Now we have to choose the intervals at which the offsets would be taken. So I suggest to take offsets at an interval of 5 meter. So then we will be having 10 offsets because the total distance is 51.76 meter. So in between the mid of the long chord and point A, we will be having the 10 points. And all those points are exactly 5 meters away from each other except the last one which would be of 1.76 meter away from point A. Now let's move on for the calculations of the offsets from the long chord. So as I suggested that the interval that we are going to take is 5 meter. Now the formula to calculate the offset from the long chord is Ox is equal to in the under root R square minus X square minus R minus O naught where X is the distance from the center of the long chord. So let's say that if we are calculating the offset at 5 meter away from the center, so then we are going to place the value of 5 over here. So as we have decided that the, the interval is 5 meters, so then there would be 10 offsets over there. So let's show these offsets with the help of arrows. So offset that is being taken at the mid of the long chord is being shown with the help of this old arrow and that has a value of 6.8148 meter. Now we can calculate the interval of 5 meters. So let's say that first offset we are going to calculate where we will be having the value of x as 5. So r is 200, 200 is square, 5 is square, r is 200. Offset that is being calculated at the mid is 6.8148. 8 meters so when we do the calculations the o1 would be equal to 6.7448 meters and again we can show with the help of uh, an arrow so this arrow would be slightly lesser than that of the previous one depending upon its value that is 6.74 as compared to the previous one which is 6.81 in a similar way we can calculate o2 where the only difference would be of uh, 10 over here because now we will be 10 meter away from the mid of the long chord so calculations then would be 200 square minus 10 square the rest would remain same and when we do the calculations it will be 6.56 meters again we can show with the help of an arrow so this arrow would be slightly lesser than that of the previous one similarly when we can calculate for the o3 where instead of 10 it will be now 15 200 square minus 15 square the rest will remain same and when we do the calculations it will be 6.25 meters again we can show with the help of an arrow so it means this is o1 this is o2 this is o3 we are moving further where now instead of 15 that will be 20 and when we do the calculations it will be 5 8 1 meter again we can show with the help of an arrow so this will be o4 we can calculate o5 where the distance from the mid would be 25 and when we do the calculations it will be 5.24 meters we can again show with the help of an arrow so this will be o5 o6 
where the value of x would be 30 and when we do the calculations it will be 4.55 meter again that can be shown with the help of this arrow this will be 06 then 07 08 09 and 010 in 07 the value of x would be 35 and 08 the value of x would be 40 and 09 it will be 45 and in 010 it will be 50 and when we do the calculations the values would be 3.72 meter, 08 would be 2.77 meter, 09 would be 1.6865 meter and 010 would be 0.46 meter. The same can be shown with the help of these arrows. So this will be 07, 08, 09, the last one would be 010. Now if we place the value of x as 51.76 meter, we are going to get offset as 0. So the last value that we have inserted is a 50 and that will be at 010. So joining them together you can see there is a formation of the curve. So this is the calculation for the left part and the same calculations can be used for the right part because the skates would be same as that of the left part and a curvature can be formed. So this is all from this video where we have learned how we can do the calculations when we have to set out a simple circular curve by using a method by taking offsets from the long cord. Thank you for watching this video.